Tell us about the events of June 1967. Well, for me, it actually occurred a little bit earlier. I was with a friend of mine, and um, I got a telephone call from my father. And I lived in Glassboro. I was a student here, but I lived in Glassboro. And the, he said that there was this big event, and the college has been trying to reach me, and they have something that I need to do. Um, so I called, and I was told that the summit was going to be here, and I was working for public relations at the time. So the people in public relations wanted me to photograph, be part of the photographs, and they only had a couple of passes left. <laughs> so I had to get over here in a hurry. So I did. I went to the, the gym and filled out paperwork and did all those uh, requirements and uh, got my pass, got my photography equipment, and came down here. So I'm out in front of this street right here trying to get in, and I come up to a state trooper, and he asks me who I am and what I want. So I tell him I'm here to photograph the, the summit, and uh, here's my credentials. So he asked me my birthday, and I'm so nervous I couldn't remember my birthday. <laughs> so he finally says, well, if you're having that much trouble, you must be okay, <laughs> and he let me in. So I spent my first day basically trying to cover the impact of the uh, events of that day on the campus itself. You know, I couldn't get inside. So I did a lot of outside things prior to the actual arrival. Uh, I photographed uh, troopers coming in on buses and unloading and, and step marching out uh, like soldiers to various parts of the campus. There were people on top of roofs, uh, security people photographed that, uh, basically trying to get as much of the impact as I could on the campus. They, uh, that particular day, that was a, the first day was a, was a nice day. Uh, and probably the most memorable thing for me was that since I was on the inside, beyond where uh, the public was, I was moving around with the same people that I had watched on television doing news reports, and I found that really, really exciting. In fact, we found out years later, not that long ago, probably four or five years later, that my future father-in-law, who was a reporter for WINS in New York, KYW sister station. He had, was here at the same time, and uh, we kind of compared notes, you know, a few years later on the different things that we saw in common and people we met. So it was a very, very exciting time. Um, it was strange to come on campus and not see any students. <laughs> it was like a different world that particular day, well, both days, actually. And a uh, very exciting, very exciting time. You mentioned the security and bringing the, the uh, state troopers in on buses. Is it your impression that the security ringed the campus all the way around? Yes. How was it done? Yeah, it was very difficult to get on campus at that time. Mm -hmm. So um, there, the back part of Bunce um, was along uh, 322 there were guards there were guards periodically in different places throughout throughout that part of the campus and this was all uh, gated off so you couldn't get in at all this way um, and this is where the biggest you know the front of the building is where the biggest crowds were right, right. was it New Jersey State Police or National Guard or I only saw state police and, and local police there were local police here as well from all over the area but as I recall but the primary numbers were state police, yeah. And then what happened to the photographs that you took? Well, <laughs> I spent hours and hours and hours in the campus darkroom developing film and, and printing film. And uh, uh, eventually, that all went to public relations. The next couple of issues of the newspaper, the school newspaper, had those photographs, some of those photographs in it. Mm -hmm. And I know some of the photographs were used later for uh, uh, publications in the, in the state. State publications, so that was uh, it was nice to see. Now, unfortunately, in most cases, I didn't seem to get credit for these things because because it went to public relations. They actually owned the photographs, and it was pretty pretty general collection of things. I wasn't the only one doing that. Belongs to the university, right? Yeah. right. Um, can you remember anything else that you'd like to share with us about those days? Uh, well, just that it was a very exciting time, and uh, just kind of my first reach out into things beyond local politics and local government. So that was kind of exciting to see the people from around the country and, and around the world. Uh, I'm, there were all kinds of languages being spoken in, among the various uh, news media that were here. And there were, uh, I remember one contingent from Japan, and uh, there was another from uh, uh, 
I believe it was, it had to be Russian, I'm not sure it was Russian, and uh, I got to talk to some people, but, uh, yeah. but things were pretty busy at that point in time, so uh, there wasn't a lot of that going on. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming and sharing your memories. Yeah, you're welcome. Us.